Good evening, and welcome to the latest anime news for the week ending January 18th, 2020. The official Twitter account of Studio Dean has confirmed this week the sad passing of anime director Yuji Yamaguchi. Yamaguchi served as director for both the original 2006 Fate Stay Night Unlimited Blade uh, and 2010's Fate Stay Night Unlimited Blade Works film. He also directed a number of other anime series, including Strawberry Eggs, The Severing Crime Edge, Angel Links, ZX Ignition, Toka Getan, and Yamibo, Darkness, The Hat, and The Travelers of the Books, and directed The AM Driver under the name Isao Torada. He also worked as episode director for series such as Hajime no Ippo, Outlaw Star, Smile Precure, and the ongoing Gegege no Kitaro anime. Several people in the anime industry who work with Yamaguchi have posted regarding his passing, expressing their surprise and sadness, and thanking him for his many works and contributions to the industry. Our condolences also go out to his family and friends, and to the fans of his many wonderful creations. Always sad to see someone like that go. Uh, meanwhile, Australian anime streaming service Anime Lab along with its parent company Madman Entertainment, Aniplex, Funimation, and other associated companies, have established a GoFundMe campaign to raise money for Wildlife Victoria. The not-for-profit organization provides assistance to wildlife, wildlife shelters, and carers affected by the bushfires in Australia. All proceeds from the GoFundMe page will go directly to the charity. In addition, Anime Lab and Madman have pledged to match every donation dollar for dollar up to $75,000 to reach the $150,000 campaign goal. The key artwork for the campaign, titled Anime Heroes for Aussie Wildlife, was drawn by Sword Art Online character designer Shingo Adachi. To find out more about the campaign or to donate, find the GoFundMe link in the video description below. Toy maker Takara Tomi announced this week that a new series is on the way inspired by its Tomika toy car brand. The new anime, called Tomika Kizuna Gatai Earth Graner, will celebrate Tomika's 50th anniversary and will premiere in April on TV Osaka, TV Tokyo, and their affiliates. The anime's story will focus on the conflict between the mysterious alien enemy Dark Spinner, and Secret Defense Force, Force Earth Graner. Shinji Ushiro is directing the anime at OLM, with Yuka Yamada penning the series' scripts. The Tomoka toy line previously inspired a TV anime in 2017 and a net anime in f and film in 2018. So this is an ongoing franchise. Speaking of ongoing franchises, the Chihaya Furu series tells the story of an aspiring professional Karuta player, this being a card game. Now the creator is working to help Karuta players in the real world as well. Yuki Tsutsugu, creator of the Chihaya Furu manga, announced on Tuesday that she is establishing a fund to support the, the competitive Karuta industry. A website for the fund also launched on Tuesday, detailing its purposes and how to donate. Tsutsugu posted a manga on Kamaki's website, explaining her motivations for starting the fund. Now that the story of Chihaya Furu is coming to an end, she reflects on the support she's received from people in the real-life world of competitive karuta and notes that she feels a great debt to them. Many organizations in the sport lack the resources to train aspiring players or to adequately pay professionals. Suitsugu, feeling the manga is her only talent, has decided to use that skill to help raise funds for the industry. The funds committee is organizing a fundraising meet in February called the First Chihayofuru Oguriyama Cup. Eight top-class Karuta athletes will compete at this event. <clears throat> Congratulations and best of luck to the new fund. And here's to more artists using their platforms for good. This is a really awesome idea by this manga cup. The title for this next news story might be a little clickbaity, but it, on Wednesday and Thursday this week, it was true. Makoto Shinkai's Weathering With You aired in U.S. theaters on Wednesday and Thursday for a 
special fan screening with bonus content before the general U.S. theatrical release on Friday. Um, at the special fan screening, you got a poster and there was a special um, uh, interview with Shinkai afterwards. On both Wednesday and Thursday, Weathering With You ranked number two at the U.S. box office, surpassing the new Star Wars Rise of the Skywalker film. On both days, Weathering With You grossed around $1.5 million, while Star Wars grossed $1.2 million and $1 million on Wednesday and Thursday, respectively. The number one film on both days was Universal Pictures' World War I epic, 1917, in case you were wondering. If you missed the special fan screenings of the movie, but are still enough of a fan to see it in the theaters, you can still catch the normal version in both English sub and dub versions at theaters across the U.S., and I'm sure coming worldwide soon enough. Studio Ghibli has created a new 15-second advertisement for the Lawson Convenience Store chain. The studio has been producing animated commercials for the store since 2001, but this ad is the first new one in roughly a decade. It shows a bustling Lawson store filled with happy customers and employees. The video is actually a spiritual sequel to the original 2001 Ghibli ad. In the original, a young girl purchases a ticket from Lawson to go see Spirited Away, and in this year's sequel, she's now grown up and serving as a store employee. So that's a nice little twist around. The ad was directed and animated by Kunio Kato and produced by Toshio Suzuki and Tomohiko Ishii. The project was planned by animator Osamu Tanabe, who also happens to work part-time at Lawson as a hobby. Okay. Uh, if you ever wanted to design your own Gundam model, your time has come. The Gundam Breaker mobile app has opened up submissions for a Gunpla Build Design Contest. To enter the contest, create your own Gunpla design through the mobile app and then submit it on Twitter. The winning design will be handpicked by Gundam Build Divers Re-Rise director Shinya Watada, that's pretty cool, and may even appear in the anime's upcoming second season in April. That's even cooler. Starting next month, the app will also hold monthly Gunpla design competitions, with different ju judges choosing the winners and runners-up each month. For February, the judge will be mecha designer Kanetake Ebigawa, and producer Takuya Okamoto will be the judge in March. The main contest is open for submissions through March 31st, so check out the official website for the details, and hey, get designing. It's pretty cool. Speaking of Gundam, the Gundam vs. Hello Kitty project has finally come to a culmination in the final animated short video, which was released this week. Yeah, this is a thing. The two major franchises, both celebrating important anniversaries this past year, have been facing off on a special website with collaboration goods and various contests. For example, one challenge saw them competing to sell the most merchandise. Pretty clever marketing trick, right? If you're wondering, Gundam won the overall contest, dominating in 8 rounds out of 12. So, yeah, that says something. Now, the final collaboration video has been revealed, completing the story of Hello Kitty taking to space to assist Amuro Ray with his mobile suit fight. The two have had their differences and struggles in communication along the way, but in the end, they grow to understand each other and successfully defeat the enemy. Or, rather, Kitty transforms them all into cutesy, non-threatening SD Gundams. But, hey, that works too. The project is also holding a live event in March, featuring Amuro's voice actor Toru Furuya, along with a real Gundam... How are they going to manage that? Hello Kitty herself... How are they going to manage that? And others... Anyway, well done to Amuro Ray and Hello Kitty, and may Kitty's belief that everyone should be friends, even evil, even evil killer space mechs, continue to spread. Finally, each week we like to feature a story that highlights the quirkier side of our hobby, and this week might be the perfect example of that. A manga began publication this week that reimagines the story of Stitch, Disney's cute but violent alien fugitive, if he didn't land in modern-day Hawaii, but instead feudal Japan. 
Tono Sama To Stitch, or The Lord in Stitch, debuted on Kodansha's Comic Days manga website on Monday and follows Stitch as he meets feudal warlord Yamato Maison. Upon meeting the alien, the warlord experiences a feeling he's never felt before. Cute. The manga won't be the first Japanese work inspired by the character. Lilo and Stitch previously inspired an anime series simply called Stitch back in 2008. The series was co-produced by Disney and Japan's Madhouse Anime Studio, and get this, it spawned two sequel series as well as two sequel television specials, so clearly Japan loves Stitch. That's it for this week. Thanks for watching.